Mascarpone is an Italian cheese originated in the Lombardy area. It has a buttery and slightly sweet taste, and its texture is very smooth. It is different to cream cheese because mascarpone is made of cream and not milk, and the cream is heated but not curdled. It is also different to clotted cream because it is made with acids such as lemon juice or white wine vinegar. Mascarpone is one of the main ingredients in tiramisu, but can also be used as bread spread and as an ingredient to make other dishes such as cheesecake and risotto. However, store-bought mascarpone are super expensive. To make one tiramisu, you need around 500 grams mascarpone, and a tub that gives you 475 grams mascarpone costs an eye-watering $13.88 Canadian dollars, plus tax at Walmart. What's worse, it contains a bunch of ingredients that are not supposed to be found in real mascarpone cheese. So I've decided to make it myself because it only costs me two dollars fifty Canadian dollars. That's more than five times less expensive than store bought ones and much better quality. And guess what? It only needs two ingredients. One of the most important things in making mascarpone is cheesecloth. I got one for a dollar fifty at a dollar shop, but it really isn't the best. It was very thin, very long, not very wide. It was difficult to get the cheese out too. So in future, I'll probably just try to make it with paper towels, like I did with my yogurt cake. I want to make a small tiramisu and we'll need about 450 grams of mascarpone cheese so I think I'll need to cook about 500 grams of whipping cream for it. To make the cheese, bring the cream to a simmer at medium heat. This time, it took 10 minutes to bring the cream to a simmer but your stove might take shorter or longer so make sure that you keep an eye on it just because you can't fix it once it is cooked and the cream is curdled. And in the meanwhile, stir it occasionally. After 9 minutes, the cream started to thicken. And after 10 minutes, it started to bubble really quickly. And so I just removed it from the stove and to let it cool down a little bit. Because we don't want the cream to curdle. Once it starts to bubble, it's time to put in the lemon juice. Stir it and let it simmer for another 3 minutes. Then it is time to do a spoon test. So I feel like it's now ready. It's been simmering for a little bit. Turned off the heat and spoon test. It's covering the back of the spoon. Looks good. Whilst it is cooling in the pot, get a bowl, a sieve and your cheesecloth ready. Pour the mixture into the cheesecloth and let it cool for 30 minutes on the counter. As you can see, it has already started straining. After 30 minutes, cover it and leave it in the fridge for at least 8 hours. The final product is dense and smooth and it tastes buttery, very creamy, slightly sweet and nutty. Very delicious.